but learning those tricks, they can be difficult. Cody is with our friends uh, from the Stunt Dog Academy to break down the basics. What was that, Code? Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whoa. Good timing. Look at this famous dog. There it is right here. And there's it right there. Oh, my goodness. Chris, thanks for coming back thanks in. Thanks for man. having me back. So, you guys... You do all these crazy stunts and everything, and I thought, well, these are professional dogs. These are dogs that were been trained and bred for this stuff. They're, they're shelter dogs. They're right? rescue dogs. They're all from a different background and um, different story, and they're all rescues. And we promote animal rescue, pet adoption, and spay neutering all across the country with what we do. And our new book is basically enriching people's lives, encouraging them to go out, teach their dog to do something fun and new, and experience a stronger bond with with basically you and your dog. Well, that's the thing that I don't know if, if, if everybody gets. If you are practicing these things, your bond with the pet is going to be so much more. Oh, it is. Absolutely. You, you fall in love with these guys no matter what. But once you start teaching them to do some amazing tricks with positive reinforcement, your bond just in Aww. increases tremendously, um, especially w when you start seeing the reaction that your friends and family give you when your dogs can do all these cool things. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Like it's a Vegas show yeah, for them or exactly, something like that. Exactly. Okay, so what's the first thing you need to do if you say you had a new dog yeah. and you want to do this this sort of thing or your, your pet, um, uh, how, what's the first thing you recommend? <laughs> well, you obviously you want to have good obedience on your dog first. A good sit, stay, come, walk on a leash. Um, you also want to acclimate them to the clicker. We use positive reinforcement, so okay. we can use the clicker. We can also use the power word yes and mark the behavior, but it's important that you're consistent with your dog. Always give them the same hand signal and oh, verbal okay. cue. You also have to be repetitious. Everybody knows practice makes perfect. And of course, you got to find out what motivates them. And obviously, Coda is motivated by his favorite hip to be square treat, but he's also motivated by toys. But you got to find what works best for your dog. Um, and of course, a lot of love and affection goes a long way. That is so great. Coda is a golden doodle from a rescue out yeah, of Tennessee. Um, oh, he is, uh, yeah, he is from a uh, Snooty Giggles rescue, and he is about four years old, f almost five now. Actually, he is a um, sweet boy, but definitely not a border collie. Not on, not on the autopilot here. This guy takes a lot of training, takes uh -huh. a lot of work. You got to be consistent with him, and of course, he's a golden doodle. And like any dog, they're not going to be perfect. You know, you just got to be patient with your dog. I don't know. He's pretty perfect to me. He's pretty perfect. He's a smart boy. He sure is. <laughs> But when we first start training, we use a lot of lure. So we use a toy or treat to lure them. For example, if we were going to have them maybe get into a sit position uh -huh. and sit pretty, we'll take that treat and we'll lure that treat over their nose. Maybe you can show them that, Sue. Hey, um, lure that, lure, use him um, that treat as a lure. There you go. Oh, and he'll get that treat as reward as he sits up. Uh -huh. um, at the same time, we'll give him a hand signal and verbal cue. At first, we'll use the treat in the, ha in the one hand, and then we'll eventually phase out the treat and phase in what we call an air cookie, which is basically faking your dog out. <laughs> Where they think there's a cookie in the hand, but there's not, and you're giving them the hand cue instead, and then rewarding them with the other hand. Well, the air yeah. cookie's been working for me lately. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> it the diet. Okay, yeah, so right. you, you you've go. got another uh, dog that you're going to show us some more tricks. Yes, in a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring out Vinny Valentino. He's the one on the cover. Oh, cover um, dog. The book, by the way, goes over 118 different tricks and stunts that you can teach your dog at home to do. Doesn't matter the age, breed, or size. Any dog can learn. Okay, cool. Hey, will you do the thing where he puts his paws on your feet? Yes, yeah, definitely. Oh, so uh, yeah. This is called the footsies. This we'll go over. In the book. This is so Back. great. Watch this. Footsies. Footsies. Put it right here. <laughs> he said, I, we are. He's getting did excited. That one. He's getting excited. There we go. See, they get pattern. They get into this routine. There it is. There it is. That's so hilarious. <laughs> that's, that's how we take them a walk, you know? <laughs> take them for a walk. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun one. It is. All right, so, so we'll meet the cover dog. Yes, yeah, so you're going to meet the cover dog bit. here in a few and minutes. More tips on how you can get your dog. But uh, this is everywhere? Can we get You can buy it at any bookstore wherever books are sold, even online. The Big Book of Tricks for the Best Dog Ever. Um, again, 118 tricks and stunts from beginner all the way up to pro. Awesome. Wow, that's awesome. great. That's, that's a great good dog. That you're making that's a good dog. Easier. All right, back to you guys. <laughs> Put my Here I come. Chihuahua on my foot. Can I use these tips for my children? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, there's a few 